What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great Saturday. I am thoroughly enjoying the fact that I don't have to work today. I got up at 5 a.m. anyway, was uh, very confused as to why I was awake. Uh, so I knew, um, you know what, better get on it because the Eagles aren't going to let me rest. There are no days off in these parts, baby. So, uh, I started working on some things and almost had two different shows out. So I'm going to put out the how to create cast space a little later. I uh, have it ready for you. But um, obviously, the Eagles go ahead and sign someone. So, boom, we got some breaking news we're going to touch upon here first. Then we'll get some more information throughout the day. But I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time here. Appreciate you hitting the like button, subscribing, all the things you're doing to support the channel. Cannot thank you enough, but any questions, comments that you have, feel free to get them in down below. Uh, we have signed quarterback Will Greer, so that is what we are here to talk about today. You guys have any thoughts, any questions, anything like that, please feel free to get them in down below. But let's break this bad boy down. I'm going to jump over to the comments real quick. What is going on, Nikki? Appreciate you tuning in, you sicko. All of you sickos, I hope, are having yourselves a fantastic Sicko Saturday. And uh, look, you've got lots of content coming your way this weekend. So strap in. Going to do my best to get it all out. I got so much going on today, too. I'm just like, I knew I better get this stuff done in the morning. And I'm glad I did. And oh, let's go. Nikki, appreciate you uh, signing up there. Um, for those of you who are members or have just become members, uh, make sure I make the post. I'm going to start making them on Mondays. So look out for those. But uh, I will be putting in the, you know, the Fan Friday. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever seen the show, but um, I give you guys the opportunity. You can ask multiple questions, give multiple topics. You can do whatever you want. You can ask about free agency. You could ask me my top five favorite Eagles of all time, whatever is on your mind. But Fan Friday is your show. So I try to give you guys that are the members the opportunity to get things in so that way you guys steer the show, right? So then I just bring the graphic up. Everybody gets to answer them. So I mean, you guys don't have to do that stuff, but uh, I truly appreciate you guys signing up for that stuff and becoming part of the family. And look, you don't have to be a member to be part of the family here, but uh, I try to do what I can to get you guys, you know, what you need here. But uh, really appreciate that, Nikki. Now, let's take a look here at Will Greer, and I'll jump back over to the comments. But uh, love you guys. Appreciate you taking the time. Keep those comments coming. I'll be right over there in a second. But I want to show you Will Greer. I got a lot of questions here as to why would the Eagles sign depth pieces uh, throughout the offseason? I keep getting, why are we signing backups? Why are we not getting all pros at every position? Why is not every guy a starter? And I don't know how else to simply answer this other than, I mean, that's just how the NFL works. Um, see a lot of people upset about this move. I don't know why. Um, a lot of people asking, why would you, you know, sign a guy that knows the system, is familiar with the new offensive coordinator, the new quarterbacks coach that could be helpful to all the quarterbacks in the room? Well, I think, you know, if you just think for a second, you answered your own questions by, you know, thinking about it. You know, so Will Greer, somebody that was selected in the third round five years ago, somebody that had some talent coming out of college. Let's take a gander here. He most recently played for the Chargers. Doug Neusmeyer and Kellen Moore both were there. Obviously, they're both new coaches for the Eagles, but you can see did not play at all, but 6'1", 220. He is 28 years old, and he was uh, drafted by the Panthers, but then he went to the Cowboys, then he went to the Bengals, and the Patriots, and then the Chargers. So um, he spent a lot of times, you know, his first four years were – the Panthers and the Cowboys, if you remember him. And then last couple of years or the last year here, he kind of got moved around a little bit, but he knows the system. This is somebody that comes in here and is going to be able to help Jalen Hurts and the rest of the guys learn this system, what helps him. But I figured, you know, I'll give you some stats from when he actually played. And that's back in his rookie season back in 2019. So you can see he started two games he had a 53.8 completion percentage. Zero touchdowns, four interceptions, 4.4 yards per attempt, six sacks. He did fumble the ball. So <laughs> you can see why he has not been a starter in the NFL. But he's one of those guys that you just assume will be a backup for most of his career. You know, his dad got him into college. His coaches are getting him signed to other teams. You know, some of that nepotism, baby. So, um, look, he's not great. You don't want him on there. This dude is going to be the fourth string quarterback for the Eagles. So probably not going to make the team. Maybe he's on the practice squad. So 
these are the moves that happen in the off season. I don't know if people like this is their first off season or they've never watched football before, but you always get people worked up about this stuff. And it's like, dude, this is a good signing. Like he's a fourth string quarterback. That's going to cost you nothing that knows the system can help Tanner McKee, Kenny Pickett can help all, you know, Jalen hurts, learn the system. It, that's the name of the game here. These are human beings. So, uh, Look, uh, he's not starting, but he's somebody that knows the system that can, in preseason, help some of the players around him because he knows what's going on. So I'm all about it, and I want to show you the updated look at the depth chart. Now, I have him as QB4. Um, however the hell they want to do it is up to them, but I'm just plugging these guys in as I go. But you can see anybody in green here is new to the team, whether that be free agent or trade. And then the gray are the reserve future guys that were signed before free agency began. So you can see, man, you have added a couple of quarterbacks. You've got your backup and then a four string. Then you've got a star running back. You've got some wide receivers that are going to be pushing for starting jobs. You've got a depth piece that could push for a starting job on the offensive line. So, so far, amazing for Howie Roseman, what he's been able to do. And we talk about, you know, the cap looks like it's like 33.6, but we've got eight players now with, you know, real Will Greer, but I doubt he's going to affect the cap. So, I'm still looking at around 30 million and that show will be out later to show you how we can create about 20 million more. So uh, how is just beginning to cook. And if this is the appetizer, holy shit, I cannot wait to see the main entree and that be in the draft. And then, you know, obviously the undrafted free agent signings, the free agent signings that are left over, all that stuff will come too. But you see on defense, man, Oh, whatever happens with Reddick, you brought in Bryce Huff. You know he was my number one free agent. I'm through the roof about getting him. However that rotation goes down, I think he should keep Reddick. Have Reddick sweat and Huff with Nolan Smith and Brandon Graham. Oh, my God. That would be the best rotation in the league. Look at the interior guys. You added P.J. Mustafer, somebody that actually provides some nose tackle depth. Love that. Talk about the linebackers. You added a starter. Some depth pieces there as well. And then you got yourself a depth nickel corner. You got a starting safety. So, the Eagles know they need people, and I always laugh my ass off when people comment, like, why were they starting backup quarterback? We're supposed to sign 30 linebackers. And it's like, well, dude, uh, yeah, we'll get linebackers, but we also need the rest of the team filled out too. So, yeah, I'm not so sure where that stuff comes from, but it's always hilarious to me. Uh, but the special teams, man, we talked about Campbell and Hall, both providing kick return ability here. So this is what we've talked about. If you guys watch the show – you know I break down what actually matters. I'm not talking about we got to sign every top free agent. If we don't, Howie should be fired. They all suck. No, we talk about real players that should be on the team because they provide depth. And, well, you're getting your depth pieces here, man. And, obviously, you want to know so that when you go into the draft, you feel pretty good about every other position, right? So, I'm all about it, but I uh, would love to hear your thoughts on it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, and feel free. Any questions, comments, uh, you guys could tell me how. You know, he is uh, here as a camp body. Um, yes, uh, camp, it happens in the offseason. That's what these players are. They go to camp to play with the other 90 players and try to make the roster. So if you have any questions or comments about his game, you've watched him, anything other than what everybody in the media is saying, I'd love to hear it. So let me jump back over here to the comments. My man, CJ, let's go. Yo, dude, hope you're having a great afternoon. I've got so much to do today, and I'm – uh really just trying to schedule everything around how I'm going to get these shows out because I want to give you guys all this content I've been getting together here. It is loads and uh, I want to keep you up to date with everything, man, the free agents that are left, all of the stuff that we have. So all uh, about it. And uh, yes, <laughs> Nick, I'm just saying that. Yes, he will be at camp. That is uh, the purpose of these signings and his arm, you know, speaking of his arm, go birds, little G appreciate you. Um, He doesn't have, much of a cannon on him. Although the dude, he does have some nice touch on his long balls. He kind of lacks velocity. So, you know, you're kind of seeing, you know, he throws it up high, but then the ball kind of sputters. You know what I mean? It's not really getting there. Um, I think for me, we talked about him, you know, five years ago. And Will Greer, an intriguing prospect, dual threat, right? He can use his legs. He's somebody that doesn't throw as much on the intermediate short routes. He really is looking for the long ones, but He's somebody that likes to break the pocket. He doesn't stay in it. And I think for me, you know, he's trying to make those big throws, but he's not good throwing on the run with accuracy. So this is why he's not a starter in this league. He definitely has his issues. But the purpose of bringing him in is not to be your starter. You're seeing the media, oh, this guy, I don't know why we signed him. 
you just here for camp. It's like, yes, you have to have people here for the off season. That's just the way it goes. It's not going to change whether that upsets the media or not. That's what we do, man. That's what every team does. They add players to compete and may the best man win. So um, he's going to have to compete with Kenny Pickett and Tanner McKee. But as I said, I don't think he makes the team. I think he could be a practice squad guy, your emergency quarterback. So whatever it be, you know, I think that this guy, it's a smart move because he's been part of Kellen Moore and Doug Neusmeyer. And that's with the Cowboys, with the Chargers. So they've had time together. And uh, that's just, you know, it's a no-brainer to me. But uh, you see the media getting people confused all the time. Tiffany, let's go. Yo, appreciate you taking the time here. Cannot thank you enough for all tuning in, all your questions, comments. That's what I'm here for, baby. So I uh, hope you're all having a great Saturday. It's going to be a wild day for me. It really is. It's going to be, and it's so ugly and crappy out there. Like, damn it. Can't it. Yeah, man. Uh, that's what they are. Um, and yes. Um, yep. Thank you uh, for repeating that. So yes, that is exactly what I said and what I mean. And that is exactly how it goes with most people. And uh, yeah, last night you guys saw the Titans make trades. Uh, yo, my guy. Yo, my man, Lil. Let's go. Appreciate you tuning in, my dude. Hope you are doing well. Appreciate you taking the time here, uh, talking a little quarterbacks here, and uh, Will Greer added to the room. So, you know, I've got him as QB4. Again, I, this is somebody that knows the system. He'll be not only helpful to the quarterbacks, but those fifth, sixth string wide receivers that he has to throw to during preseason. And we talk about this, you know, when you add guys and they're trying to learn a new system while also trying to show their talents and a lot of times the coaches are simplifying things for them in these games because you want to see what everybody can do. This makes it easier when your quarterback knows what's going on here. So no brainer, no brainer to me. Um, and the kid was fun to watch at West Virginia. So it, it's, he's got some talent there, but again, it, fourth string guys, fourth string, no reason to let the media get you worked up over this. Um, no brainer move. It's fans you know more than anyone else. A good quarterback room is a great thing. That is right, Nikki. And, this is why I always get so confused because you either have everybody's pissed that we get quarterbacks or they're pissed or they're super excited. And, you know, Will Greer's the next starter. He's starting over Jalen Hurts. This is, you know, oh, 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 that's that's what we get one way or the other. There's no I'm the only middle here. Right. It's let's talk about the football side of it. Why does this help us as a football team? And why does this happen every single year with every team? Why do they sign people? Why do they have 90 players like? I guess I got to explain the basic things like that, but I don't know, Nikki. It's uh, it's wild out there. It really is, but you hit the nail on the head. I, you'd think they'd understand at this point, hey, man, our only Super Bowl, we won with a backup. And you guys remember how much hate I got for explaining how Nick Foles would win the Super Bowl for us right when Carson Wentz went down. And I did my best to break that down, try to help people understand how the game is played, why Nick Foles fit the system. I explained it when we signed him and people were pissed. That's fine because we won the Super Bowl. And, you know, all the hate mail, the death threats, everything because of that, it, it actually drove me to continue doing this. That was my first year. And I was just like, you know what? These people have no idea what's going on. It's time somebody helps them out here. So, uh, but yo, dude, yeah, uh, West Virginia, he was uh, fun to watch. I, I think he started in Florida for two years, right? Then he got suspended for performance enhancing uh, drugs there. So I think he went back. They didn't play him. He felt a little slighted there. So then he transferred to West Virginia, and he looked pretty good. Um, remember that one game going up against Oklahoma with Kyle Mur Kyler Murray? I thought, okay, this is why people are so high on him. Then his senior year, you know, he was in the Heisman race. He actually, you know, has talent there. And most of these guys that are in the NFL have talent. But there's just something lacking as to why they're not that starting guy. This guy is QB4. QB4. I'll, again, QB4. You know what I mean? So uh, quarterback factor never went anywhere, Tiffany. Quarterback is the most important position, and – we are always going to, you know, have importance, you know, putting everything we can into it. So all about it. It's about this take the backup job. Well, yeah, he's the third string now. But as we've talked about, you know, Pickett provides that uh, competition for him so they can both duke it out there. Percentage passes were caught by the other team. Yo, yeah, it, again, this is the reason he is QB4. You do not want to see him playing on game days, and he's not going to. This is somebody almost like an extension of the coach, right, where – he is there for, and he's a great leader. He's got a great personality. All those teams he's played for, he's been a great leader on. So this is a no brainer. It's an off the field kind of thing because he's not helping you on Sundays. He's helping you be better on Sundays. That's the key here. So, um, yeah, man, you always want these signings to help. So, uh, yeah. And exactly, you know, you look at 
a lot of these quarterbacks, a lot of that stuff happens, but a lot of these guys are career backups. They don't ever play. You know what I mean? But they know the game. They're there in the locker room. They're able to help the younger quarterbacks, help the other receivers, tight ends, linemen, whatever it may be. That This is just, this is why you have to understand, you know, not just what Madden tells you. So it is what it is, but uh, we need a lot of positions actually. Um, and that is what free agency and the draft are for. And uh, you guys have heard me. Obviously, Richie, you've heard me a million times talk about that tight end position. So, yeah, uh, I still feel that way. So excited to see our free agents. Yeah, man, I'm, I can't wait. And I can't wait for the draft to see who we add. This is, this is going to be an awesome season. I can feel it. Um, so, um, yeah, I can't either. And, you know, I look forward to the offseason, obviously, because, you know, I'm a true sicko. But when we get into those camp battles, I love it, man. I truly, truly, truly love it, man. And this is nowhere near being done. I told you. I've already got like, seriously, like four different shows I'm working on. Like two of them are done, but I'm going to recap what free agents are left. Still loads of safeties and linebackers and so many positions. We've talked about tight ends that we need that are still out there. Last night, somebody asked me, who are my top guys that are still out there? We talked about tight end Bryson Hopkins. I would add him. We talk about, you know, so many linebackers. And then we added Devin White, Burks and Vaughn. I like that, but you could still try to, you know, add somebody else if you want to. Off the top of my head, I don't think there's anybody I would really. I, we talked about some trade candidates I would be a little bit more for, but um, there's some back end guys wouldn't be against. But I think you go in the draft with that. Now, safety, there are a plethora of safeties, and I think you should add there. You guys know I've still got some of my top guys out there. So Kyle Duggar's out there. Justin Simmons is still out there. Ashton Davis is still out there. You've got so many options. You've got some nickel corners still out there. Tavier Thomas, Miles Bryant. So a lot of names we talked about are still available. This team, they're going to add to these positions. There will be battles at each. So all about that offseason, baby, and uh, appreciate that, Colin. All uh, you guys keep doing is uh, showing up, and I'll keep doing my best. So I appreciate that, my friend. And uh, yes, he is, as I was just mentioned there, Nikki. Uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of him. Would love to have him. And, uh, you know, that's part of what free agency is. You talk about, you add, and then you see what you really need for the draft. So, I mean, that's just how the offseason works. I don't know why every year I got to explain it like I'm talking to elementary children, but the media just seems to be truly lost as to why you sign players that aren't all pros. Like, why why is not every player in the NFL an all pro? Why isn't the four-string quarterback an all pro? And it's like, I just, I don't know why we're so confused about that, but. It is what it is, um, but hey, whatever, man, whatever. Let them hate, let them hate. Bells eliminate kickdowns when they move to kickoffs about 35. Boston Scott last year, like never. Yeah, man, uh, last year, um, are, you're just seeing that now, no doubt. Yeah, we talked about that last year, you know, Boston Scott, when everybody was freaking out about kick turner, we talked about the fact that I think he had one. So, yeah, I don't understand where uh, people get lost, but it usually takes them a long time to figure that stuff out, you know, and it's like you're usually waiting a year later, like, oh, yeah, yep. Uh, but, hey, that's why, you know, we talk about not needing to add returners. We have Britton Covey here. Isaiah Rogers can help you as a returner, so no-brainer. Official quarterback coach. Yeah, and, uh, yep, RMP is agreeing with what I said, so no doubt, man. He's challenged Parker. Yes, that is what the receivers will do. They will compete and challenge each other. That is how that works. Uh, he is signing his death warrant. No, not at all. He's actually doing really great. Um, don't listen to the media, man. I wouldn't. I, I see you get caught up by that stuff all the time. I wouldn't um, follow them at all because they uh, have you lost uh, all the time. You know, fire Howie, give her to Hurts. I just don't know if I would listen to those people anymore. You know, maybe. Find someone that knows what they're talking about. But, hey, man, uh, no doubt. Uh, but, no, Howie's actually doing great. You're hearing a lot of the whiny, unintelligent media people. You know, oh, this is season's over. We knew it. They're failing. This is, you know, he's panicking. Like, no, dog, this this is just how the offseason works. You guys can go back to five years of shows. You can see each year how I do this stuff. But, um, and, yeah, we talked about that uh, the past few weeks, you know, how they're trying to get kickoff returns implemented back into the game while keeping it safe a lot of things going into that you know so yeah um if you guys missed any of those shows uh, plenty of content out there but uh yeah we have the best gm in the game that's why you can always tell when people don't know what they're watching and just follow the media and it's like why would you follow people that have absolutely no idea what they're talking about and are consistently wrong about everything <laughs> like i to me that's why i started this to give people a place to come where they can learn and understand how things work. And most people, you know, they hate it. They disagree with me. 
But then I got to wait a few months to a year and then they're repeating it back to me. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's that's why I say it. I OK. Yep. Um, and then they can tell me how oh, they 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 learn something. They tell me something wrong. I teach them. They learn. And then they say, I didn't learn anything. If you guys saw the show last night, that was too funny. Like, dog, didn't you just learn how things work right in front of you? Too funny. Too funny. Um, hey, let him keep hating. I'll keep educating. Oh, yeah. He is uh, putting us in a position to dominate like always. And we're always going to go after the best player available. That's just the way it is, man. People are going to tell you, you have to get Bijan. You have to get this guy. You have to. Those people are never right. And I've been right five years in a row because I look at it from a football perspective, not what the media told me. And every year it's fire Howie. Everybody sucks. We hate everybody. And dog, I, they just continue to look like ass clowns. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, yeah, man. How about it? Show enough. I, I just don't. I don't get it. Right. And it's truly annoying. All I'm trying to do is help people. I'm here to spread positivity, love you guys and yeah, spread a little love for the Eagles. And, but if you know me, you know, I, I have a hard time. I try not to match energy anymore, but man, when the negative energy starts coming, it gets really hard for me not to, you know, just be like, okay, you're really stupid because what are we talking about here? Why, why do we have to repeat what the media says? I mean, we're, at this point, holy shit, I, I get it. The Eagles are stupid and everybody else for hiring these people, but just ignore them. Stop retweeting. Stop, you know, uh, commenting on every single video they post. Stop spending hours of your life watching it and getting confused about how anything works because they're confusing you. And I'm not forcing you or telling you you have to watch my show, but I'm saying if you like actual news and want to learn stuff, it's free, bro. Right here. Uh, but that's up to them. You know, if they want to fire Howie and trade Hurt still and all that stuff. They can hate me, send me death threats all they want. As long as they bow down at the end and they are Eagles fans, that's all I ever ask for. And I love watching it happen every year. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't. And they don't understand how the cap works, man. That's We're so fortunate because they don't get anything. So, like, they have no idea what's going on in the field. They don't know that we've run this defense four years in a row. No clue what position people play. They think off-ball linebackers are edge rushers. think edge rushers are off-ball linebackers. They don't know anything about the cap and it's like, and then they come out here and tell us how they're experts and they know everything and everybody's got to be fired and everybody sucks. And it's like, dog, you don't even have a basic under my 13 year old knows more than you. And you're going to tell me that you understand like dog, I would learn some basics first. That's just my first. And Richie, no offense to you. I know that you just come here and you like repeating what all those things say, but I, there's nothing I can do. You know what I mean? So, uh, Always making magic, yo, and you know it, Tiffany. And that's the funny thing. You know, I get a lot of hate from Eagles fans because I know what's going on and I support the team and always try to show how the cap works. But it's awesome when you watch those people start taking my content and realize they've got to bend the knee because they have no clue what's going on. I love that, man. I do. Oh, yeah, he truly is, man. And uh, this is just the beginning. We're like a week and a half into it and people are already losing their minds. And, uh, I love every second of it. And uh, you remember him. Uh, Lil, uh, Lil D was in here and he was pissed that he had no idea how the cap worked. And I taught him how it works. So he got offended and threw a tantrum. And it's like, dog, I don't know how to help you guys. Like, what what do you need me to do? I, I just so much whining. Guys like Sills in the media, just negative content grifters. Yeah, that's it. And they get so much negativity just thrown at them. And that's just all they know how to repeat just repeat and repeat and repeat so uh it's nuts and uh oh ted don't care how the cab works yeah dude, i don't care well that's awesome bro some people like being intelligent and knowing what's going on so that way they don't have to look stupid all the time when they're saying fire and cut everyone because they have no idea how the cap works trust me ted that's why a lot of that stuff happens to you bro uh learning this stuff is very helpful but I get it. Trust me. Football is not for everyone. If you're into the clickbait stuff, just whining and everybody sucks. I hate everyone. <laughs> Trust me. A lot of guys out there for you. Girls. So many content creators that hate the Eagles unless they're winning. That's more up your guys alley. Have at it, man. We're diehards in these parts, man. And we love all of it. So tell me they don't run a three, four. Yeah, they're really stupid. Um, It's kind of crazy. And we don't run a three, four. Uh, and I've, I've told you a million times, I simplify it by showing you that picture, but it's not, that's why I make those videos. And I mean, I make those videos, man, and I show you exactly how it works. And I break down, you know, what the difference of these people are and yeah, they'll call it a three, four, but a lot of times it's a five, two, or you're going to see a, you know, five, one or four, two with the nickel. It's just, 
there's so much that goes into it and they just don't know what they're talking about. And this is the fourth year now uh, that we're going to be a multiple scheme defense and just the stupidity of people not knowing where people even play or what we run. It's like, so you're telling me you're an expert, but you have no idea what we've been doing for the last four years that I just, sorry, but I can't take those people seriously that just whine about everything, hate everything. Don't know anything. It's like, well then shh, maybe learn something dude. And you won't be so angry at life. I don't know. Yes. Yes, I was. And uh, I've been talking about it. I need to start a new band. Anybody out there, you play a little guitar, a little bass, a little drums. Let's go. I am really getting sick and tired of not doing it. As I don't really have any free time, but um, I'd love to love to start another band. Yesterday at work, we were just talking about my old guitarist and I was like, I think I'm going to reach out to him. So I'm getting closer each week to just finally making that step. And uh, I'm going to hope that that goes down. You know how lucky I am to have found you. I'm lucky I, that you found me. What are you talking about? Thought I knew football. For, hey, look, and that's, dude, I'm just a sicko, man. Like, I, I know people that know football. I've just always been that sicko. I take it a little step further, right? So I thought when I was on my deathbed, I could just relay some of that information to people, see if other people like this stuff. And, you know, China was saying this last night, and I was saying, you know, Ch uh, Chelsea literally, you know, she obviously had a basic understanding. And then, you know, living with me, watching games with me, I'm like, you know, freaking out. But, you know, she knows most, more than most Eagles fans out there. And it's like, you know, before she met me, she it's funny, but it's like, that means the world to me knowing that. Like, look, dude, I'm here. I love football. I love all of it. But I just happen to know all the stuff on the outside, the cap stuff, the roster management, all of it, because it's important to know. And when you don't know, you end up looking really stupid. And that's what happens to a lot of fans. And, you know, they're not, you know, maybe they don't have the IQ to grasp it. That's okay, man. But you don't have to be upset. Cap's fake. I don't care. It's like, hey, man. Just sit back and listen. I will guide you the way. I will teach you how it works. I'll simplify it, you know, and that's why I appreciate people like you, Tiffany. You come in here and it's, you want to learn. You want to have fun. You're always, you know, supporting me and always asking questions and comments. And that's what this show is about. But some people think it's just, I'm going to give me your advice. You say, hey, my life. And it's like, dog, this is not the place. I've told you a million times. I'm your friend. I'm here to help you. If you need help, I'm here. You want to learn how something works? I'll teach you for free. There's no reason to be upset, but people are always upset. Always. And it's nuts. Girl, how do you know so much? <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. And uh, China was saying that she goes to work now and they're like, what the? F and, like, I love that. And that's what I, you know, I always make that, that, you know, little phrase there where I want you to be able to walk into the grocery store. I want you to go to the barbershop. I want you to be going to the bar. I want you, you know, it, your nail lady, whatever. Whoever's talking trash about your Eagles, I want you to be able to smoke them. You don't have cash taste. Actually, we have 33.6 million, and I'm going to explain to you why. I want you to be, well, you don't have any off-ball linebackers. Well, actually, we do. Uh, oh, you don't have edge rushers. We have lots of them, and actually, I want you to be able to do it all. So that, that means the world to me, man. I really do uh, appreciate you guys saying that. So it's awesome, man. It is truly, truly awesome, man, that you guys, uh, you know, and that's what it's all about. I People can be as negative as they want. I just, I don't have time for it. My, my life is so busy right now. I take this little bit of time to talk to you guys. And if you hate the Eagles, everybody sucks. And we'll see you when we start winning, man. Uh, try to explain the difference between off ball linebacker. Oh, dude. Uh, well, you know, this has been about, uh, this is the fourth year now of making these shows. And I just saw someone made a show and it was literally just a copy of the show I made like four years ago. They had like 20,000 uh, views. Now I don't watch the person, but it, like I was scrolling by and saw it. And I was wondering, I'm like, I hope they're really explaining it because I tried for the last, you know, four years here and everybody gets pissed. And it's like, I just, I'm just trying to help. I, I, it would be helpful, but it doesn't matter. And it's like, well, it doesn't matter to you because you don't know anything. That's fine. Right. So let them, let them be miserable. I knew it and get a good spot, a pair of pipes from a mile away. Now, yo, that's awesome, dude. Uh, my favorite bands right now, I'll be honest with you. So my favorite metal band is Lamb of God. Since that was like the first band I heard when I was in like eighth grade. Oh my God. But uh, my favorite band like of all time is Led Zeppelin. I have a quite a catalog currently right now. For the last year, I've been listening to this Orbit Culture band and holy shit. I uh, need to go see them live. They are insane. And uh, I would have to say they are one of my favorites right now. But uh, great question. And uh, yeah, uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Spot spot the pipes from by the way i love it chelsea grin no doubt she has rings of saturn no doubt nice nice i actually probably about a couple years ago heard of um chelsea grin like i actually listened to them i had heard of them before but i was like oh 
I've got a Chelsea at home, so I got to listen to him. So it was awesome. But, um, and uh, yeah, man, uh, are you still going? It's fine. You don't understand it. That's fine, man. It's it's perfectly fine. You don't want to listen and learn. You don't have to, bro. Um, and uh, Chelsea Grin slaps the F, right? And uh, I, we were both quite surprised my girl likes metal as well. So um, we like it all, dude. I, I like classic rock, metal, hip hop, anything. I Well, country music. And I work with people that listen to country. And I, I feel so bad because I'm one of those people I hear country. And I instantly just start making up lyrics like, I put my dog yesterday. And like, they'll all just be like looking over me. It's probably their favorite effing song. And I'm talking about, you know, country corn. And it's, oh man, I got to watch myself. But uh, to launch a 20 minute rant about the Eagles, how to cap at the bar, that'd be amazing. Oh yeah. And you'll be able to. You watch these shows, you'll be hooked up, dude. I, no reason. And you know, some people choose to get like the guy last night, Little D. He was in here complaining. They instead of just shutting up and listening, they whine and whine and whine. And it's like, dog, you could just listen and you would learn. And then you don't have to be offended. I don't know. Uh, yeah, man. Um, still to this day, pretty wild. Um, but the old school Lamb of God, like they like made me get into metal. They made me start a metal band. I found my voice singing Lamb of God songs. Like that is how I found out. Like, mm, okay, uh, but. Oh, yeah. Um, they are always going to be intense to me. Uh, dissect. Okay, I'll check them out. I have not. Dissect. I will definitely check them out, my friend. See Chelsea. Oh, no shit. That's what's up, man. Nice. Nice. Husband, he was telling his boy about me. He didn't believe me. So he called me on the phone. I had to school him. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I want. I want you guys to be able to feel like you got ammo like ah oh, nah dog i'm about to teach you about the cap about the roster about the draft about and you know we're going for year six in a row predicting who the eagles pick so people can keep telling me what i don't know or how they don't care and i don't care i promise you i don't i like knowing everything i like being able to give you information where you feel like you are geared up see what i mean look at all these positive comments all the little davies of the world try to come in here and tell me how they hate life and we bear this shit. it's like hey man I understand you're in bitch mode. We are not. We are actually very excited about this team and can't wait to continue dominating throughout the season, watching everyone become the biggest Eagles fans ever. Let's go. All about it, though, and uh, me too. And these Fan Fridays, you guys sometimes get me going off. But uh, I got to get rolling out here, but you guys are truly awesome. And, uh, yo, you are the woman, Tiffany. I really can't thank you enough. You guys are awesome on all. And I really don't think you understand how much I, that means on the other platforms, not just YouTube. You guys are sharing stuff, liking stuff, doing all that stuff. Man, truly, truly awesome that you're out there spreading the good word, letting people know where this cap information. You get a lot of dumb Eagles fans that don't know the cap. And they're always mad about everything. And it's like, dog, if you just listen and learn, it would go so much further instead of spending time telling people how to live their lives or what they're supposed to do with their medical bills maybe shut the fuck up and learn i don't know man but uh people are wild dude and uh i can match energy with the best of them uh so i, I just try not to i try to scare them away right so that way we sickos real eagles fans can enjoy our time together because dog it's annoying but uh nikki really cannot thank you enough for becoming a member make sure you get and you can add in multiple questions, topics, whatever's on your mind. And it hell, it could be about metal. Doesn't I tell you guys, it doesn't have to be about Eagles. Fan Friday is for you guys. Whether you want to get to know me, you want to get to know the Eagles, you want to know something random, whatever it may be. That you know, the top five largest mountains in the world. I don't really care. I, I have no idea. But uh, let's go, my man John. Yo, dude, just about to roll out here. But if you rewatch it, would love to hear your thoughts. Tell Chelsea. Oh, tell Chelsea and the family. Oh, dude. I will definitely let her know, and uh, I think I hear her downstairs. That's why I got to get going. Got to go run some things. Got to run to the store. Actually, a few stores. Oh, it's going to be crazy. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to record that. Ways to save salary cap, and you're going to see even more. Some of you may not want to tune in. It may. Uh, NSFW may scare you. may shock you. I don't want you to be upset um, and understand how everything works in football. So maybe not all of you tune in, but you sickos. I hope you'll check it out. Hope to hear from you then. But until then, I'm Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. If you guys need anything, you need a friend, anything, feel free to reach out. doesn't just have to be about the birds. Always here for you, as you are for me. But have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And as always, say it with me now. Go birds!